What's up, fellow YouTubers? This is Cake Boom. Yeah, so if you guys um are new to the channel, my name is Katie, and I do um video game pickups, um comic hauls, um CD hauls. Actually, those don't get a lot of views, so I'm kind of debating what to do with that. I actually have a new kind of thing that's gonna be happening next week, so stay tuned for that. And let's talk video games. What? What? Yeah. Um. What have you guys been recently playing? I actually, um, I've been, uh, playing on my PSP, um, Tom, a Tom Clancy game. I forget what it's called, but it's so much fun. It's such a, a good, uh, stress reliever, just blowing people up with, um, bullets to the head, you know. Um, I don't know, my friend actually got me into Tom Clancy games. And they're, they're amazing. Alright, on to the games, which is what you're here for, right? Alright, so I went to my flea market and I actually um, was walking around and there's only, I think, two, two vendors that were selling games. And one of the vendors was selling a lot of Xbox 360 games and PS3. And I would, I think I pulled out like a, I don't know, Tom Clancy game. And I opened it up, and the game wasn't in it. I'm like, oh, man, that sucks. So I told him, I'm like, hey, there's no game in here. He's like, oh, let me put it aside. I don't know if he did, but yeah. Then I went on to the next booth, and I found some other games. He mostly had PS2, um, Xbox, um, some PS3, PSP, and some Atari. And yeah, so I picked up Rainbow Six. Three, Black Arrow. It is complete. I picked this up for I think three dollars and I'm very happy about that. I've never played this before but I should hook up my Xbox and take a gander. It's made by Ubisoft and it's rated M so younger folk can't play this y'all. Anyway um, I love the Tom Clancy games, and another one can check off my list. Yeah. Alright. Oh, wait, actually, there's three vendors. My bad. There's three vendors that were selling games. And I picked up a Wii U title called Super Mario 3D World. Woohoo! And super stoked to find this. Um, he was asking $15 for it. And I looked at it, and I didn't want to pay that. I did not want to pay $15 for this game. So I looked at him, and I'm like, could you do 10 And he said yes. So yes, 10 bucks, Not a bad deal for a Wii U game. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a really good deal. The game's super fun. And it is Family Game of the Year, so... For all you family people, go check this game out. I give it a, uh, let's see, a 8 out of 10. There you go. Alright, so I left the flea market and I did see another game that I was kind of wanting. So I get back to my car and I'm like, well... So I went back. I went back and I picked up Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So, wow. This game, he wanted $15 for it. And I could have said, hey, would you do another 10 But I felt bad, so I'm like, would you do... I think I gave him $13, which is still not a bad deal for this game. So, two really good um, games, Mario and Toad. Woohoo! And there is... Um, I actually haven't played this, but there's more than 70 worlds of adventure. That's a lot of adventure. So, let's show you the game inside. There's Toad. He looks super happy. Yeah, I was super excited to pick up this game. And I think it retails for still, I think, like, like 40 bucks. So, yeah, not too bad. Alright, so I went to Valley Village. And I looked in the glass case right at the front of the door. And wow, I saw this game. So I flagged someone down. I'm like, hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. I want to check out this game. And 
I found Yakuza 3. Holy moly, so excited for this. Wow. Um, I paid $24 for it, but man, was it worth it. This game is pretty hard to find. I'm super excited. Like, it's a, basically what it is, is you're, you're in the mafia, but you're basically trying to hunt down other mafia people, and it's super sweet. Basically beat up other people, and it's amazing. I actually, my friend actually told me about this game, and I got hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to show you the back. Some of that. Yeah, so um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like seven or eight Yakuza games. So, I mean, it's another rated M game, but whatever. It's a, it's a great game. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Go check this game out. Alright, and that, the games didn't stop there. The good games at Valley Village did not stop there. I actually found, in the case as well, a GameCube game. Star Wars Rebel Assault Rogue Squadron 3. Another cool Star Wars game. It was $8.99. And it is in there, which is nice. But I've recently got really big into Star Wars, and I'm... I mean, I saw um, Return of the Jedi like three times, so. And I'm reading the books now too, which they're really good. So go check out the books. There's like over a hundred Star Wars books. I haven't actually played this one, but I've heard great things about this. GameCube games are always fun to pick up and always good to pick up because they're harder to find than Xbox and PS2 games. Alright, so then I was still looking around. Alright, so they have a case, like a shelf of other games. And I found Toll Jam and Earl 3 for the Xbox. And I've never found like a Toll Jam and Earl game. This is my first one. Um, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I really want the one for, uh, I think that's um, N64. But I, I'm good with this right now. I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, there's 30 enormous randomly generated levels to explore. Over 70 power-ups that unleash special attacks, so that's pretty cool. Oh, also another cool thing about this game is that it's Xbox. It's only on the Xbox. So, that's pretty sweet. I paid, I think, $10 for this game. So I don't know if that's a good deal. You can let me know in the comments below if that's a good deal. But I, I don't know, I just thought it was a really cool game to pick up. I was super excited for this. Toy Jam and Earl. Alright, and my last game that I found is kind of kind of not the greatest game. It's a good game, but uh yeah, so I'll let you know. So oh my gosh, spy versus spy for what? $2.99? What? That's such a good deal. But wait, there's no game in it. So yeah, what, you actually bought just a case? Yeah, I bought the case because I thought maybe I'd find the game later or maybe it was like a, like going to be less expensive to buy the game and case separately. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I don't know. I, I just really, I don't know. actually, what actually I wanted to happen was I wanted this game for free because there's no game in it, right? But then it says case only, which is stupid. So it's spy versus spy i mean it's a good game i don't really actually have the game just the case so that's it that's all i got um stack of games for a chunk of change some fun times to be had but yeah if you like this video please subscribe and check out my other videos and i'd love to get some more subscribers and some more viewers